Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I want to talk about the Habiki des Queen 10. Okay? Since some of my audience don't watch my content in full, I made a video talking about these very same LED lights while I brought a multiple of eight total, but six for myself, two for a giveaway. I just talked about this in a video about this particular LED light. How can you not, how can you as an audience miss that video about an LED light and an important information about the LED light? I'm the panel photographer, everybody. I don't sugarcoat anything from any brand. So, with that said, disclaimer. It wasn't due to water damage because as I said before, this was the newest one that I recently just took out of the boxing packaging. You can tell it's the newer one because it has no label in, no scratches, and is pristine condition. I explained that this was working the day of the video, but everyone in the audience or some people in the audience, sorry, just fail to watch the content and listen to what I'm telling you as a consumer, as a professional photographer, as a videographer, a documentarian. This has a plastic housing. This is made out of aluminum. This here, ladies and gentlemen, comes with a legitimate battery. This has the same features as this. Yes, this costs more, but this cost me $70 at the time. The price went up and down, fluctuated. Emphasize, I'm gonna take these apart. Unplug the batteries. I want you to look at the batteries. They are identical but one isn't. The tip for this is bigger than the tip for this battery. See? Look at the size comparison. All right then. Now, take a good look at the PCB board. This one is bigger and larger. It has more capacities than this one. Only has one and it's smaller and it's made from cheap material. So, dim G for leaving a comment saying that it could be water damage. No, because when I had water damage, I threw away, guys, I had four of these with me today. I mean, just a week ago. I just threw away one a few days ago at the community refrigerator. Just so someone can fix it and maybe use it. Now I have to do it to this one. Then I just took it out the package. But this one caught fire. Let me let me pull this piece out to show you. Give me a second here to pull it out for you, friends. So the Ikibis RG Queen 10 RGB light. Is it a safe? And this is important to know. It's not about, oh, cheap, reliable, functional. Is it safe? My question is, no. I was walking down the street this morning and someone was like, your bag is on fire. What? I looked, there's smoke coming from the, smoke coming from this unit. You can see where it started to melt. It started to melt. And you can see where it melted down this bar, this wire here. Look at that. That's a pretty good indication that these products are not made like they should. Because if you look at this one, look at the inside. You see how this one is made differently? Yeah, it is made differently. 
the quality, and I'm shooting this in 4K 60, so you can get that damn good quality. Because I'm the panda photographer, everybody, and I want you to subscribe, like, and share. Because everyone thinks I'm just ranting. These are products that I spend money on, ladies and gentlemen. And they should not fail at all within oh, three weeks, 60 days, 30 days. So take it with a grain of salt. When I purchased the first two, I sent the first two back and got a replacement because they failed. That's how more experience that I have than anyone with these products. But I did not know that the brand had a website. So I just emailed them today to tell them a nice true story about why your products are not safe in homes because if I was to leave this unattended in a home people's lives would have been in jeopardy because of this particular product this is why I rather use this product the Sunway Photo product than use that as a reliable source of doing video photography or, or creativity art these are not reliable units. Some of you may say, well, didn't you just uh, got water damage? Yes. But as I said, this was still in the box packaging. This was safe. But these two should have been the ones that should have been more unsafe because they weren't in any packaging or protection. But they did, they did not have any water damage. So let's get that straight up, uh, clear out of the way. None of these had water damage. None of them, other than that one that, other than the other one that just suddenly just malfunctioned and broke. The fourth one that I had just suddenly malfunctioned. I'm not sure if that one had water, water damage, but I'm pretty sure that it. That's all these units that I have had in the past. I had to return them and replace them. Something went wrong. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, something's going on with quality control. And that's my take with this product. So I'm going to take the product apart. Pliers. I'm going to take it apart. Right here. In 4K 60 frames. We're going to destroy it. Because this one doesn't work completely. It can't work. And there's no corrosion by the way. Let's, let's just point this out. No corrosion. As you can see, there's no corrosion. I wish people pay attention to what I say in the videos. So they always gotta have this. There we go. Sorry, we don't care anymore. I'm just gonna open this. Hibicitous, I hope you are satisfied with this video. These are the LED lights, as you can see. These are the LED lights. We just destroyed it. You guys think I'm joking? This could have killed people today if I did not pay attention or someone wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. This could have done more harm than good. Luckily, I was fast enough to take it out the bag and take, take this off and throw the battery across the street. That's what I did because we didn't know if the battery was going to explode. Safety precautions. Here you guys go. Here is how this thing functions. Here are all the LED lights. Oops, excuse me. Look at that. All the LED lights from top to bottom. Nope, no capacitors are shorted out. There's no corrosion as you can see, nothing that you can see. Look at that. No corrosion on the LED lights as well. So how did it break? I can tell you why it broke. Because these boards they use are a piece of shit. This is what I have to do to these two. Since, keep this in mind, this battery belongs to this 
LED light. And this battery belongs to this LED light. This one is A. This is the functional one. But this one is C, the broken one. Why is it broken? Well, let me show you. We're going to take this battery. We're going to plug this battery in. And I'm going to demonstrate this one more time. See, it is working. But, if I was to unplug it, put this battery in, which, what happened? I can tell you what happened. So, with that said, this, this micro USB charging, come on man, really? In 2021, 2022, you use micro USB charging for this? Seriously? Okay. So, the problem with this is because it won't charge the battery on C. Something's wrong with the board that doesn't want to deliver the power to the battery. I have to take this one, C, take it out of A or B. We had B, we do away B. See? You guys gotta pay attention. I had A, B, C, D. So keep that in mind. We have to take this one, put this battery into this one so this one can function, and then take this battery, take this one to charge this battery so it can function in either of these two. That's what I have to do. It's not a replaceable solution. But this is. This is a way practical, better solution, friend. Did I kill it? Uh oh. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Took that battery out. And I still have a full charge. After using it a few times for some LED long exposures at night. And I'm sorry, but this has a better appeal. Better. The Sunway Photo. FL90 RGB has a better look to it, better feel, quality is better. I don't understand what can I not convince you, ladies and gentlemen. This product may look good, it might be cheap, but it's not waterproof, it's not weather sealed. This is not weather sealed. This can't even stay alive for 60 days. Mind you, I just started using this one. After it, C and B started malfunctioning, again, A, C. I donated B just a few days ago at the community refrigerator. Ladies and gentlemen, as a professional photographer, as an amateur videographer, as a professional documentarian, I'm giving you content that Amazon doesn't want you to see. No other platform wants you to see. I'm the consumer report. If you're a consumer and you buy products and you want to buy something that's reliable, this is a very good video for the consumer report. A bad, I thought the battery was going to explode. Everyone else thought that it was going to explode this morning. But no, this started to melt. You can see where it started to melt. It came right off right here. Literally right there. And as I take it apart for you, I'll show you one more time. Look at that. That melted. So with that tell everyone, I'm the panel photographer. Don't buy the Habikius RGB Queen 10 LED lights. You want to buy something like this. Built quality. Structural built. Has multiple color functionalities. Also... It's built like a tank, has different modes, better modes than this. Guys, look at the modes on this one. By the way, so many photos send me this one for free. I'd be guess, so take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, I'm throwing that in your face, Bran, because I have sold so many of these units for you. I was the first one to actually review the product. And you never once reached out to me and said thank you. You have a website, by the way. 
and you couldn't reach out to me and say thank you. It would have been most appreciated. But no, that's, that's, a, that's a brand that just wants to sell a product. They don't even know if it's going to last or work. This is a product that works, that lasts quite efficiently. So with that said, as you can see, I'm gonna change the mode here. This is I, this is H probably. This is uh, G, this is F, this is E. This is like a nice color post. The metal, this is D. C, B, most code, and A. So, let's change the modes again. Now, this is by color and a CRI accuracy. This is not CRI accuracy, everybody. This is C CRI 97. This has a TCLI of 97. This does not have a CRI rated. Now they might say it on their website, but officially they don't. So keep that in mind. This is not by color. You can't change it from 6,000 Kelvin to 2,800 Kelvin. You can't, but you can with this product. So I emphasize, would you spend a little bit more for this or would you waste money on this? And I was a victim, not once, but eight times. So, w disclaimer, I gave away two, kept six for myself. If you looked at my video, why you should not buy the, uh, the Amazon warning video about the ubiquitous, you can see in my Amazon account, I purchased six for myself. So, with that said, everyone, I digress. With that said, everyone, this has been a tech review about safety concerns about LED lights sold on Amazon. Which one you should buy? Now they do, Sunway Photo does have the FL152 by color, but it's not RGB, but it's a very powerful LED light. It's the same, comes with barn doors, if you want the barn doors, but it's small, look how small and practical than this is. This, I can, pretty fit anywhere in my, anywhere. But this one's difficult. So with that said everyone, thank you for taking the time out to watch me destroy a product. It's already destroyed, but it could have been fixed. That's the thing. It could have been fixed. So with that said everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support the channel, and you want to see real more real reviews on products like this and i know this is pretty long but this is from 4k60 i want you to see the quality but please subscribe like and share you want to support the channel check links down in the description below you want to buy a print buy a print from my website thepenandphotographer.com but with that said eat sleep photography and buy gear that matters to you and repeat and i talk to you guys in the next one see ya friends